Hey guys, welcome to Santino Sunday Cigar Review. Um, I'm Maddie, and this week we're going to be doing the Tatuaje Bonito. Stick around and find out, y'all. All right, welcome back everybody to Santino Sunday Cigar Review. I'm Mike and we're on our third part series of budget-friendly cigars and today we're going to be discussing Pete Johnson's Tatuaje's Tattoo Bonita. And first thing that I get, because I started smoking this just a little bit before you, Maddie, um, very consistent, very smooth, um, typical Pete Johnson quality. Uh, you, you, you taste the quality Nicaraguan tobacco, um, and I, I like it. I, I think this is a versatile cigar. Uh, we'll get into more description and price in, in a minute, but um, this is a cigar you can smoke in any setting, any occasion, whether it's just with friends, on the golf course, at the pool, um, anything. This is just a great cigar. So what I really like this cigar is, I call it what's like a fishing cigar. So like, it's gonna be great, nice, consistent, and smooth. It's not gonna completely and utterly really knock you down. And so that way, and you only have to focus on this cigar, like also uh, because of that. And um, also it being a budget friendly cigar, if you accidentally drop it into the lake, it's not like you just dropped a Padron anniversary series until like you're not gonna be terribly disappointed by it but yeah like Mike said it's been pretty smooth and very consistent so far um, I've been really enjoying it myself um, now as far as the wrapper and everything on it is the wrapper itself is from Ecuador but it's a Habano wrapper um, which that's actually it's gonna be a nice smooth consistent wrapper overall um, and the cigars themselves are made in Nicaragua the rest of the way, so it's really nice. It's a pretty good cigar for the price point. You got anything and, else? Yeah, and Maddie, and since we're in the budget series, um, what is the price point of this cigar? The price point of this cigar is we have it in our humidor for $6.50. And, and, and folks, it's, this is basically a Toro. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a good-sized cigar. For six fifty, I mean, it, 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 it's 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 hard to pass up. This is a great everyday smoke, mm -hmm. and I we do have. Um, there's a shorter version of this, and we get a lot of uh, police officers that come in because this is once again, as we said, great everyday smoke. And for police officer on duty, it's a cigar they can put down, go do what they've got to do, and come back and smoke it. Mm -hmm. All right, everyone, we're back, and we've smoked into these a little bit more. I'm about halfway through. A um, couple of interesting points I'd like to add from the first segment is, you know, we talked about how budget-friendly this cigar is and how versatile and, and the cigar can be when smoked in different settings. But it's not, um, if you would give this to your friend or, uh, you, they wouldn't consider this a, a $6.50 cigar. I think if anybody smoked this, they would think it would be a 10 or $12 um, cigar because it is still premium tobacco. Uh, that's the wonder and wizardry of Pete Johnson, and he could put a quality cigar together at that price point for people. So we wanted to dispel that if there's any misnomers out there that maybe it's not a, uh, an upper echelon um, cigar. And folks, the second biggest thing I've gained out of this cigar is that for the people that are in between, maybe people that have started smoking and they're more on the mild side, they're, say they're ready to graduate to something with a little bit more body, a little bit more flavor, step up to that medium to medium to full cigar. This tattoo is a perfect cigar to make the transition. Now, if you by chance started smoking cigars and maybe somebody introduced you to something full bodied with a lot of uh, spice and pepper up front and maybe it's... it's um, soiled your experience or you think all cigars are that way then this is a great cigar to introduce somebody to because you're it's not going to overwhelm or overpower the senses so to speak and so i think 
those two really interesting points why this cigar is kind of special. It fits uh, several different categories. Maddie, how about you? Uh, for me, I think that this would be a great cigar. As you all know, the holidays are upon us now. Um, and this cigar would be absolutely amazing whenever you're try whenever a friend of yours, you're getting together for Christmas and they want to try out a cigar. I think that this would be an amazing cigar to hand them because it would be, you know, it still is a medium bodied, so it's not going to be like, oh, what's this? And, but it's not, you know, it's still premium tobacco. It's not like you're going to be handing them a gas station cigar. It'll be really, really nice for, um, them to get that premium tobacco quality, but if they don't like it, it's fine. It's not any money. It's not any money off your back on that one. So I think that's what it would be good for me. Uh, you got anything else, or should we go? No, let's the- delve right into the to the try, buy, or deny right. portion of the show. You go ahead. All right. I, I think for me, once again, we're we we did this whole segment to give people um, an entry level price into the premium cigar industry and so for me it's a definitely a try and a buy and I wouldn't be surprised if you somebody would buy a box of these these are a great everyday smoke Mm -hmm. how about you Maddie yeah for me um uh, this is also a buy for me as well because uh like I said sometimes I'm working and I don't feel like dealing with uh a giant uh, well not a giant cigar but a cigar that has a lot of you know complexity and stuff like that so that way I only want to focus on that cigar and not whatever else I'm doing. This would be great for that. And that's why I really, this one's a buy for me. So. You know, and I just thought of something else. I was never a cigarette smoker. And, but I, we get a lot of people transitioning from cigarettes to cigars here mm-hmm. at Santino's. And I think because people who have smoked cigarettes for many years and that, you know, they're used to that nicotine, they want that nicotine, Mm-hmm. You get, you're going to get all the great things. You're going to get the nicotine punch in this tattoo, but you're not going to get all the negative connotations associated with cigarettes. And I think this is a great transition for people yeah. coming from cigarettes to cigars. All right, guys. Thank you for watching this uh, week's episode of uh, Santino Sunday Cigar Review. Uh, this is going to wrap it up for our series on budget-friendly cigars. Uh, Next week, we're going to be doing a little bit of uh, the stuff that we got from being a Drew State diplomat, and uh, it'll be really, really cool, so make sure you stay tuned and watch. Uh, Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, so that way you can see all of that Drew State diplomat stuff. And remember, here at Santino's, we drink, we smoke, we know know things. things. Have fun, y'all.